Welcome to My Off-Grid Adventures. I'm Frank, and it's another beautiful, cold winter day here in Michigan. Since it's late deer season, it's time to put in a buddy heater into one of our hunting blinds, and I'm going to be using a 20-pound propane tank because it is much cheaper than using the one-pound tanks. I have seen some videos online where these were tested extensively for indoor use, and they don't have any issues with carbon monoxide. You can take that at your own risk and research it yourself. I'll put a link to a video or two in the description that convinced me that these were safe, but I've also been using this for years and have had no problems. These blinds aren't exactly airtight anyway, so I think that it is safe, but again, research that and see if it's something you're comfortable with. This is everything that we're going to use today. On the left is a fire extinguisher, which will be left in the hunting blind. Then we have some gap filler, a camouflage cover for the 20 pound propane tank, a cordless drill with a one and a half inch drill bit, the hose that came with the buddy heater, the 20 pound tank, and four bricks. We're going to mount this in front and directly in front of the front window here. And we'll give it enough room for it to be able to move around a little bit in case you need to shift positions within the blind. These one pound tanks are about $5 a piece. So if you use one, two, or even sometimes three of these a day to hunt, it really adds up. This small end is all that has to go through the wall, so a one and a half inch bit is plenty for it to get through. To find the perfect spot to drill the hole, we need to position the buddy heater where we want it to be, and then make sure that the hose doesn't get kinked or pinched or twisted too much, and make sure it has enough room to move around a little bit if we want to adjust our position within the blind. Now we're ready to feed the hose in through the outside. By the way, I apologize for the sound being off. I have a wireless mic that's been giving me problems and that's why you can't hear any of, of the background here, but I do have a new DJI mic on order. Here you see we're positioning the bricks so that we can have a flat, solid surface to rest the propane tank on. Now I'm just checking to make sure there's enough room on the outside for the hose to have a little bit of slack. I bought this Broil Pro accessory propane tank cover off of Amazon for $10. I have another one for a 30 pound tank that was just $16. But these work really well to protect the tank, to keep it from being obvious to trespassers. And I like how this Velcro part at the top allows it to seal fairly well around the hose and it still protects everything at the top from being icy when you need to turn it on or off before or after a hunt. It fits perfectly around this 20 pound tank, just as my 30 pound cover fit around the 30 pound tank. And you can see here, there's just a nice amount of room, the perfect amount of room to maneuver and get your hose on and off and be able to turn the valve off. There are a couple different kinds of buddy heaters, so make sure that you have this filter that's there at the top of this unit. If it isn't there, you're gonna need a separate filter. But since this has it and the ones at Costco have this already, then you can just plug your hose straight into it. Costco has these with the hose for just $79, and that's the best price I've seen. I want to make sure there's just the right amount of slack so I can move this around. I use this Great Stuff expanding foam all the time, but this is the first time I've ever had one fail. It just either froze up or was too old or something, so I had to go back and get another can. I also wanted to remember to bring these nitrile gloves because they definitely help whenever you're dealing with this sticky type of material. You don't want to get this on your hands. I had another one of these cans back at the RV. It was bought at the same time at Home Depot and was stored in the same place. So I don't know why the first didn't work, but thankfully this one did. It's time to turn the gas on head inside and make sure the buddy heater works. If you're familiar with the buddy heater, you know that you have to hold down the pilot for a few seconds before you turn it on. 
everything lit up fine and is working perfectly. This aerosol fire extinguisher was purchased at Home Depot for just $10 on sale. The regular price is $13.97. I like the simplicity of this fire extinguisher because when you're in a flammable forest, you don't want to be figuring out how to operate a fire extinguisher. And this is very simple. Just take the cap off and spray. Well, that's all there was to this project. Now this hunting blind is warm and cozy and we can hunt in it a lot longer without being uncomfortable. If the first spray foam can had worked, this project may have only taken about 15 minutes. It took about a half hour since I had to run back to the RV and get that. I'll have links to everything that was used in the description, so please check that out. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.